Welcome back everybody, this is Alex Antrico from Multicats International and today we're gonna have a look at the Fontaine Peugeot Cumberland 47 Long Cruise. The boat is located in Panama and is from 2015. It is a three cabins layout plus crew cabins. She's a six years old boat but has been extremely well maintained so she kind of looks like new. Thanks to the extended transom, it's particularly easy to walk on and walk off the boat. Also, the entire back deck is in thick. The walkways are wide and have handrails on both sides to move forward in safety. The boat has two single crew cabins in each four peaks with access from the large four deck hatches. The crew head is on the port side just behind the crew cabin. The four deck has a built in seat, a large sunbed area, and a sound system. It is a great spot to enjoy the sun on the mooring. The Luma windlass is located under the seat and there are also some extra storages. You can see some really nice princess seats and something I forgot to mention is the tick on the top of the gunnel runs all around the boat. Walking astern, we come back in the cockpit, which has a built-in seat, a tick table, a barbecue, a knife maker, and a fridge. Behind it, you will find the Davids and a 3.4 meter Zodiac with a Mercury 20 horsepower. The curved staircase brings us to a spacious and large flybridge where family and friends can gather. It features a dining table and a seats on aft starboard, a wet bar with sink and an L-shaped lounge on port side. The helm station is on starboard forward and offers excellent visibility. At the helm, you will find Garmin electronic equipment and the throttles controls a twin 300 horsepower Volvo diesel shaft drive with fixed four blade propellers. This is an option, in standard the boat was delivered with 240 horsepower. There is no need for bar thrusters on this Cameron. The propellers are about 6 meters apart, so it's easy to maneuver with a bit of practice. The cruising speed is around 12 to 13 knots and max speed 23 knots. Going down the stairs brings us back to the cockpit where we can access to the engine compartments from two large hatches.
the engines have been professionally maintained by the crew. Most mechanical and electrical equipments are located in the engine's compartment. The generator is forward of the starboard engine and the covers above the engines are actually for noise reduction. Moving inside, on port side there is a fully equipped galley with a sink, a gas stove, an oven, a microwave, a fridge and freezers. And it is perfectly located for indoor-outdoor entertainment. Opposite, on the starboard, there is a dining table and L-shaped seats with storage underneath. Ahead, we have the interior helm station with a seat for two people. So the boat has 2,400 liters of fuel, which means at 7, 8 knots you have a range of over 1,600 miles. Um, there is 700 liters of water and it is coupled with a water maker. So you are covered for an extended cruise. Also there are two black water tanks and two grey tanks. The staircases bringing us to the hulls are located between the helm station and the dining area. On the starboard side, it leads us to two guest cabins with private head. Each head has separated shower and toilet. The cabins are comfortable, there are plenty of storages, there is aircon and a TV. You can see that the woodwork and upholstery combination works well on that boat. The, the cabins are particularly bright. Also, there are a lot of windows in the hulls and deck hatches for ventilation. On the port side, there is the owner hull with a much larger cabin stern and forward the head with separated shower and toilet. It enjoys aircon, TV and plenty of storages as well.
So I think we have seen everything now. I hope you enjoy this uh, walkthrough video. I want to thank our broker partners in South America who have taken this video for us. If you are interested in the boat, let us know, we can arrange a viewing, otherwise you can find more information on our website.